So we want to talk about uh, two force members. Uh, so when you dealing with uh, rigid body problems, especially problems that involve uh, frames or machines, uh, you come across uh, members that are known as two force members. So I want to give you um, a simple definition of the two force member. Uh, so let's say if you have a rod, and by the way, it doesn't have to be a rod. It could be any shape. Uh, but the definition of a two force member is that any body for which there are only two forces acting at two different points. So for example, one force is acting over here, say force F1, and one force is acting over here, say force F2. So they have to be at two different points, not necessarily at the end points, they could be anywhere, but they have to be at two different points. And again, it doesn't have to be just one force at one point, it could be several forces, but you can make it into a resultant force. So one resultant force at one point and one result, resultant force at a different point. So we wanna talk about how could a two force member be in equilibrium? Clearly, this member is not in equilibrium. So clearly, this can't be in equilibrium. So let's look at another situation. So let's say we look at our member. I wanna see if you could figure out how the forces have to act. So let's say, first of all, uh, you have a force like this, say F1, and say you have a force like this, F2, first of all, F1 and F2, they have to be equal. So from now on, I'm just gonna call them F. But you see, the problem with this is that, yes, in the Y direction, they cancel each other, but this is going to create a couple if F1 and F2 are equal and they have to be equal, and this body will rotate. So this is out of question. So let's look at another case. What if we had two forces like this, one like this, and one parallel to it like that. Again, both of these, the X and the Y component of these cancel one another, but again, you see that they generate a couple and this will start rotating. Okay, so this is out of question. So now, the only way that a two force member can be in equilibrium is for the forces to act along the axis of the member like this. So this is called a tensile member. So the member is in tension and you could have it the other way. Uh, compressive member like that but the forces have to be equal and it has to be along the uh, member along the axis of the member now you could also have so-called uh, non-straight two force members so you could have a two force member which is like a say bracket type again the only way that this guy can be in equilibrium is that the force have to act along a line like that. So in other words, the forces have to be on the same line. And the reason for that obviously is so that there's no moment uh, about any point. So F and F are on the same axis, so they don't have moment. Moment is zero, sum of the moment is zero. Any other way, it's not going to work. So the conclusion is that we could have straight two force members such as this guy or this guy, or a non-straight two force member, and the forces have to act along the axis.